Are you a data scientist or a developer who mostly use Python like me? Are you jealous of developers who write JavaScript code and build fancy website in a browser? How nice would it be if we could write website in Python? Is it really possible to run Python code in the HTML that's been the browser? Yes, that is possible to run the Python code in web browser using the PyScript. JavaScript is basically used for front-end and also the back-end but Python is only used for back-end. That's been the server side. But now you can run Python in your HTML code. Using Python, we can also design the front-end and also the back-end part. That's been instead of using the JavaScript, we can now use Python. So you can go through this website and you can also know what is the actual PyScript. You can read it. So this is actually one bi-directional communication between the Python and the JavaScript. That's when you can now run the Python code on the web browser. If you are coming from the data scientist or machine learning background, you know about the library name called NumPy, Pandas or the Scikit-Learn. You can also do the coding for machine learning. You can build the model using Scikit-Learn and you can also run it on the web browser. So now let's see how can we actually install in this PyScript. So to actually install in it, you can just click on this install button. And they say that just kidding, you don't need to install anything. Just you need to copy this, okay? You need to just copy this tag link and the script tag. Then we can actually using this PyScript tag inside our HTML code. So now let's jump on the busy listed code and create one empty HTML file and try to run this. So now I am going to create one empty HTML file. Just click on here, that's called index.html. And now I'm going to create one boilerplate code for HTML5. And inside this hack tag, I am going to actually pass here the link tag and the skip tag that I copied earlier. So in order to run the Python code on the HTML, you need to use one tag that's called the PyScript. So for that, you need to actually go on your body tag, that's been inside your body tag, and type here PyScript. Okay, and also the closing tag. Okay, and you can see here it actually auto suggest me because I'm actually using the GitHub Copilot on my Visual Studio code. So that's why it auto suggest me. So if I press here tab, it will actually auto complete it. Right now, let's click on here and disable it for the HTML. Okay, so now let's save it and just go on the live. If you're actually using the Visual Studio code, you can actually use in this live server extension on the Visual Studio code and it will actually just go on the live and open one browser and it will actually show the output so it actually show on your default web browser right in my case this is my firefox you can see here this is my firefox browser and you can see here hello world is also appear that's mean our python code is right now working fine on the web browser so now let's divide this busy list code and also the web browser and let's see it in real time that is actually change this in real time or not so instead of using the hello world, let's say use the knowledge doctor, my channel name. So subscribe it man, just save it, just save this file. And you can see here it auto reload it and it will take few seconds to load that. And you can see just a while knowledge doctor, okay? And you can see here knowledge doctor. That's when you actually run the code, uh, you can actually change it inside our index.html file, it automatically change it, okay? So if I go on their browser, that's been their uh, official website and just go on their GitHub repo. So we can actually uh, see it. it. You need to actually give your own a star. Uh, right now I'm not in sign in mode. You need to just give your own a star, okay? And you can also view the code and also talk about that. How can you actually use in the Pyre script? And you can also contribute them. So let's click on the get started. So get started with PyScript. Uh, they also talk about the installations. You can go this link. And you can just copy this uh, tag, your first PyScript HTML file. That's you will already do that. And let's, let's copy this out now. And also just paste it inside here and just run it, save it. And go to this uh, document. That's when you can see here one. A link is appeared that is for localhost link. It actually automatically uh, detect the changes. And you can see here, let's compute the pi value. You can see here, it actually compute the pi value. So we can get the pi value approximately 
uh, two. Okay, cool. So now let's see the another examples. Uh, we can also uh, using this uh, uh, Py script to run the NumPy, Pandas, or the, also the uh, Scikit-Learn library in the web. So let's try to plot something. Okay, let's copy this code now. Let's copy this code and paste it. And if I see, you can see here one uh, another thing that's called pi env. That's for the environment. That's in which library that actually you are using here currently. You need to mention it over here. That's called pi env inside this tag. You need to give here the, your library name. Let's say numpy or the matplotlib. And just you can actually create one deep tag. And inside this deep tag, we can actually show the output. So just save it now and go to this local host and let's say that let's plot one random number. So that's trying to plot one scatter plot and it actually show you that uh, how the number is actually distributed. So you can see here one plot, simple plot, that is not a random plot. You can also increase it, let's say 200, uh, let's use it 500, okay. Just actually run this and I will actually try to get some random data point and uh, trying to create one scatter plot. So you can actually easily run this NumPy and the matplotlib code inside your web browser. That's really good. Okay, I got one mistake here because uh, X and the Y size must be same, right? In the scatter plot. So just save it now. So now we can see here we got some random data point. Cool. Okay, so let's go this the website again and you can actually play with them. So now I'm going to actually run here one simple game that's called Marijuana game. And for that, what I need to do here, I need to just go on back and I need to actually, okay, not back here, just go on this Py script. And I need to actually clone this whole repository. For that, uh, what I'm gonna do here, just go on go and click here and download in for zip. And just you need to download this uh, pyskift main.gif file. So I download this file pyskift main.gif. This is the GitHub repository. So now inside this folder, just go on this folder and just go here. And now go on the examples and type, 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 select here the repl.html. And just save it now. And also, what I need to do, we need to actually uh, using this tag, okay, just copy this tag. Uh, and also paste it inside our head tag and just save it and just click this port off and go to the live server again. So it will actually open this live server and you can see here the Python uh, PyScape repel and you can now write a Python code inside this repel. It's actually mostly similar as the Jupyter notebook. So let's say hello world. Okay, and let's say shift enter. And you can see here hello world so just go on this full screen mode now it looks cool so let's say try to print here uh, i'm going to actually let's say i'm going to add two number right so let's a equal to input i'm going to take the input from the user let's say number one And now you're going to actually uh, add it. And after that, we are going to actually show a print the result. So you can see here, they actually get some value. So let's give here 10. And the second value, let's say, give here 12. And you can see your first number is nothing but 10. And the second one is 12. Uh, this is right now in string because we don't actually do here the typecasting. So that's why it's not actually showing up. So for that, what are you going to do? You can actually go do here the typecasting here so that it will convert it into the integer format. By default, it should take in a string format, so that's why it's not showing up. That's really cool. So let's give here 10 now, and second one to all up, and you can see here 22. That's really cool, and you can actually, uh, PyScape Ripple, you can actually build it in your own. So now we are going to actually show one clock also. So for that, we need to just copy this link, and go to the simple clock, and just you need to actually paste it inside it here, and just click here to op, uh, close this board and just go on the live server. And you can see the start time and it will take few seconds to start the time. And now you can see here time is started and the date. And right now it's night 228. 
okay at night right now i am recording the video deep night and you can see here the uh, time is actually coming up how i can actually start them and right now it also showing up the time right now and also the second so now you can actually run here one game that's called mario game so for that what i'm gonna do we're gonna go on this mario this file and inside display mario.html and same we need to actually paste here this link that we copied earlier so just click here on this port off and go to the live server again so cool now you can see here the mario game yeah, they also talk about the instruction use this sign to move and cows and x for the jump if video is enabled say hi to jump as well as okay so now let's start the game now it's time to actually start the game so let us start the game now So this is all about the full tutorial, hope you will enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any update. And I will be back with the another interesting topics and also some another interesting projects also. So till then take care and bye bye.